हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी विल सी हिस्टोपैथोलॉजी ऑफ ब्रेस्ट एडिनो कार्सिनोमा इन सी टू मोस्ट ऑफ द ब्रेस्ट कार्सिनोमा आर एडिनो कार्सिनोमा एंड इट कुड बी क्लासिफाइड एज कार्सिनोमा इन सी टू और इन्वेजिव कार्सिनोमा द कार्सिनोमा इन सी टू कुड फर्दर बी क्लासिफाइड एज डॉक्टर कार्सिनोमा इन सी टू और लॉब्युलर कार्सिनोमा इन सी टू द डॉक्टर कार्सिनोमा इन सी टू हैज फ्यू हिस्टोलॉजिकल सब टाइप्स लाइक कोमिडो कार्सिनोमा क्रिब्री फॉर्म सॉलिड पैपिलरी माइक्रो पैपिलरी सो टूडे वी विल सी द कार्सिनोमा इन सी टू कमिंग ऑन टू डॉक्टर कार्सिनोमा इन सी टू क्लिनिकली इट इज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम डिटेक्टेबल बाई मेमोग्राफी एज एज कैल्सिफिकेशन ओके द मेमोग्राफिकली डिटेक्टेबल कार्सिनोमा फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ दैम आर यूजली डॉक्टर कार्सिनोमा इन सी टू ओनली एंड हाउ आर दे सीन दे आर सीन एज कैल्सिफिकेशन नाउ वॉट आर डॉक्टर कार्सिनोमा इन सी टू these these are malignant cells these are malignant clonal proliferation of cells and they are limited to the ducts and lobules by the basement membrane so that's why they are carcinoma in situ so these are malignant cells these are clonal proliferations of cells but these are limited by basement membrane and also the myoepithelial cells are preserved that means these are not invasive okay now there are subtypes the subtype could be classified as comedo carcinoma or non comedo carcinoma ओके क्लिनिकली कोमिडो कार्सिनोमा यूजुअली सीन एज अ वेग नॉड्यूलैरिटी मेमोग्राफिकली इट्स दीज आर कैल्सिफिकेशन लाइक लीनियर कैल्सिफिकेशन एंड ब्रांचिंग कैल्सिफिकेशन नाउ माइक्रोस्कोपिकली इट्स सीन एज सॉलिड शीट्स ऑफ प्लियोमॉर्फिक सेल्स विद हाइपरक्रोमैटिक न्यूक्लिया एंड सेंट्रल नेक्रोसिस so here in this diagram you can see a solid sheets of pleomorphic cells and you can see that these have hyperchromatic nuclei and also central necrosis so pleomorphic cells with central necrosis is comedo carcinoma now coming to non comedo ductal carcinoma in situ these are monomorphic populations of cells and the nuclear grade is low to high sub types are cribri form solid papillary micro papillary now cribri form we can see evenly distributed intra epithelial space you can see in this diagram this is known as cookie cutter like appearance now solid ductal carcinoma in situ you can see solid sheets of cells they will completely fill all the spaces papillary ductal carcinoma in situ they grows along a fibrovascular core you can see in this diagram papillary appearance micro papillary ductal carcinoma in situ they have a bulbous protrusion and there is no fibrovascular core so these are the four sub types of non comedo ductal carcinoma in situ Now let us talk about Page's disease of nipple. The Page's disease of nipple is a rare manifestation of a breast carcinoma, actually. And clinically, how does it uh, looks? It looks like a erythematous eruptions on the nipple with a scaly crust. It is often mistaken for eczema, but actually it is a ductal carcinoma in C2. The cells are passing through the ducts to the lactiferous sinus, then going out, uh, exfoliating over the nipple, and these are malignant cells. Okay. and uh, but uh, there there is no crossing of basement membrane because these are carcinoma in situ it disrupts the epithelial barrier also therefore it allows the extra cellular fluid to seep out on the nipple surface so it have appearance like an eczema okay now very important to note is that 50 to 60% of these patient have an underlying palpable mass and almost all of them have an underlying invasive carcinoma okay so diagnosis we can do we can go for nipple biopsy and the cytological preparation of the exudate the prognosis it depends entirely on the underlying lump only underlying invasive carcinoma it does not depend on this dcis which is causing which is involving the skin and causing pages disease okay the prognosis is dependent upon this invasive carcinoma only okay now the last sub type is the lobular carcinoma in c2 clinically very important it's an incidental biopsy finding since there is no calcification seen on mammogram second thing is lobular carcinoma in c2 is more usually bilateral comparison to ductal carcinoma in c2 20 to 40% chances are they are bilateral 10 to 20% in ductal carcinoma in c2 are bilateral and these are seen in young people 80 to 90% of lcis is happens before menopause now very important that the cells of lobular carcinoma in situ and invasive lobular carcinoma they are totally identical the genetic abnormality is loss of e catherin okay so that is why microscopically we will see disc cohesive cells because e catherin mutation hai and also it there will be round and oval nuclei so disc cohesive cell is because of loss of e catherin therefore the cells are rounded cells and also there is a mucin positive signet ring cells the appearance is mucin positive do not distort underlying architecture and they are er positive pr positive and hrt new is not expressed 
सो दिस इज ऑल